so hi once again we are in cognit lab and this is the third pi game tutorial how to develop a game by using python so if you does not know python in season one we cover what is computer what is programming and python programming full whole course with very easiest process and methods and only 10 videos are there you have to watch that and you can master on it and then you can come to game developing part and in this season we are going to develop game by using python module pi game so already two tutorial will be uploaded so so if you does not watch was that because that is the main part so there i can show you how can you create window how can you draw character how can you move that so in this video we are going to know how can you give any message to any game user uh, or how can you uh, upload your character on gaming uh, window so lots of things so let's start it So in previous we can see that in first we import then in slice the pie game then all the color then the uh, display we can uh, give the height uh, the width and the height then clock we can define a clock to uh, how many frame per second we need for that we use that so then we can extend y chain lead y block then how many blocks uh, per execution will be the blow the rectangular will move towards that side that arrow we are pressed in our board so for that this loop is working and there have many events event dot type key down key up and there are many keys and key up also so we can lastly update and we can quit the game last so hope you remember all of this and now we are going to create a function so all the things we are create now we have to package it as a function so hope you remember what is function if you does not know what is function you can watch my python tutorials there i can told you what is function so function is level of abstraction of like a package where we can put all the statement of our uh, code so now let's put all these codes so i can click on column selection and then i in one click i can do all this thing so now so now here i can create a game loop uh, game function and i in that function i can define all the loops the game loops so now what i can do so now i have to define first a game loop so the game loop and then to parenthesis hope you remember the syntax of uh, making any uh, function then here exchange y chain will be we have to give all these colors not color all these things uh, this lead x lead y to that block because we are using in that function so everything that out of that uh, block out of that function that are not treated as global variable we have to create this as a local variable hope you remember what is global and local in simple way we are defining this in this block because all the statement have used all of this variable so we have to give this into that block into that function so we are defining here now it can take it from directly from local as a local variable from here so now it's all defined so let's see is it working fine or not so we are not getting anything because of hope you remember our last season of python tutorial that whenever we create a function we have to uh, call that function without calling that function that function is not executed so for that we have to call and this is the calling syntax so now let's click on run so let's zoom out so now you can see there is a green box and now it's move when we press the key that will move towards that side and when we uh, release the key that will stop if you does not understand what we will doing here so you have to watch my previous videos then you can definitely understand so now what we can do more so let's create a function another function where all the messages are uh, made by that function and we can uh, give to that uh, game user so now let's create that so let's for function first we have to write def then so this is a message so we can give it as message so uh, we don't know how many parameters we are taking from the user when we want to make a message function so first 
how can you create a function so for that we have to first define a variable the variable will be anything not uh, any uh, certain rules that you have to give font name that variable will be anything now font so here you have to first type so before writing font you have to import another module and that is import sys sys module so why this important to create any font or font style you have to use this module so it's uh, another type of module if you does not know what is module just go in my previous video or in up you can see what is module click on that so you can probably understand so first you have to uh, type font then so sorry first you have to type pygame because here we using pygame module so everything will be started by um, pygame only for those method that will from pygame so now what you want to do you have to type font pygame dot font then uh, in capital letter s then all the other letters will be small and uh, you have to write s y s font f also capital letter and then to parenthesis and middle of those parenthesis first you have to give none this is called action so you don't have to know what is mean now because they are more com complicated so you don't have to know that in that present moment so what we want to do just give a none and then the size of your uh, later so now let's think that our size we taking from the user whatever the size will the user give we can create in that size that's word or that message so now what we need to do now you have to render that so for that you have to take another variable any variable any name so we take screen text now here you have to first write font then render and then in that parenthesis you have to give uh, which message you want to appear so first the message so here we directly not uh, taking any message so if we are not creating any function in hence we are creating a message for the user then we can first give the um, quotation because every message should be a string format so we have to use quotation hope you remember by our python tutorial and now you have to give the any message but here we are directly taken from the user so let's see we are taking a parameter mess mass and we have to take when someone call the function sorry mess now what we want to do so first it take uh, mess then it takes a value true or false so why this value you don't have to know all of this you have to give just message and then true and then what you want to do then you have to give color now in which color you want to make that font or word uh, want to uh, appear that word uh, into the front of user in which color so let's define it as white color we are define it at white uh, okay we don't have to define user will define so we take another parameter color so we have to give a other name okay so color and the color will be we taken from the user who call that function to create any message and then in the last what you have to do you have to bleed that so what bleed means bleed means you have to insert that word or letter into that window of that gaming window into that gaming window so this is all things is that your word will be created now you have to appear that in that gaming window to show the user for that you have to use gd dot bleed bleed mean you have to bleed that into that window you have to appear that and in that things you have to give first what message so here our message will be screen text and the message and the color will be saved into this variable so you have to give this variable where all the things that uh, the color and the uh, size and the message will be saved so in this variable screen set all the things are saved so you have to give that variable and then you have to give x y coordinate where you want to uh, appear those word uh, in the gaming windows so now we are not taking directly it, this also take by uh, give by user so we are taking as a parameter those so you can give it x mass because we already have x and x change so we don't mess with all of this so we have to give something different x mess y mess and then we have to define that as a parameter
so we take this to now what we want to do now we have to update in last because if you don't update how module know that you want to appear some messages so for that you have to update that i already told in previous tutorial that every time you doing something new in that uh, gaming window anything that you want to appear you have to uh, use update in the last to update that and the syntax will be pygame dot display dot update so now it will be updated so now let's see what happened okay so now what happened here so let's think what we can do so let's see what happened when we are giving call this function the function will be message and in this function it takes parameter as size message color x and color and x mass and y mass and then so size will be let give it uh, 100 then what is the color you want so let's take it white sorry okay now what we can do now let's see what more it's need so then it's need color okay before color we have to give message sorry before color we have to give the message so the message will be uh, we have to give in quotation because every uh, string will be have to give in a quotation hope you remember from our past tutorial python tutorial basic tutorial so here we have to give the message and the message will be main menu okay sorry we don't have to main menu start s t a r t start and then what we have to do we give color then and then what more color then x mess y mess means what is the location where we want to take so let's think that we want to appear this word into the middle of those windows so how could you know which is the middle so you have to try so first the simple logic is uh, you have to give x as a half because you need the center so you have to give x as a half half of x so half of x how can you define that so let's think that our window is 800 into 600 so doing this we are doing another thing that we can take x window window equals to we define that in a variable and y window y window equals to 600 so now we can define those as x window y window so here we got x window and this is y window so we can define this now you can use it here so now how can you define that x y so first the x is the x window by 2 so by 2 and because we have to take half of the x and that should be x divided by 2 we also take the half of the y because we want the center position for that we have to take half x half y then we are middle hope you understand if this is the full x uh, here then what we can do we take half x here and this is the full y then we take half y here that's mean we get the center so hope you understand what i actually mean that so now what do we want to do let's think so now here we are doing this for that so now let's see what happened when we click on run before that we have to zoom out that let's click on run and let's see so we are getting a start but that is not actually middle so this middle position will go start have to go right side some block we have to give it shift it some block right side and y position uh, yes uh, you can see this and this will be equal so the y will be uh, right but the x middle is not getting into the right middle so we have to shift this uh, to some amount of right block so how could you do that so for that so to write that we have to deducted from that x because when we go into the side of right then the x will be decreasing so we have to decrease x so let's decrease this as 106 i don't know i just guess it so now you can see it's in the middle so we get a start but you can see that this uh, green box is blinking why this happening so because of 
this you are you have to give first this rectangular because whenever this will be called it goes to that function and then that all the codes in that function will be executed and then it come again and that takes some time and for that time you see that that the block this block will appear and blink uh, you can see like that because it takes some time to come into that uh, this line to that line so we have to give it as first line so when the python interpreter will come it's first executed that so it not now blink and then it's come to that then it uh, doing all the things so it is stay in that window so it not blink so let's see what happened actually so now you can see it's not blinking anymore and we can shift it to right and to left and now you can see that start is not going anywhere it's stay here but we if we don't uh, so if we want to stay here as a scoring or something we can do that but what if we have to only stay it on for one uh, second and then we started the game and it will vanish so how can you do that so for that we have to use time module so hope you remember from our past uh, tutorial we install time module but we do not uh, use that in that part but uh, we say that in future we are using that so now the time will be come to use time module so hope you understand so first we have to use uh, import first we have to import time module and then we have to use that and for that so what we have to do now so every time the message will be appear we have to use slip function so what did it do so whenever you use slip function in that position in that moment the execution of code will be stopped for one second or for how much second you will give in those parentheses in the middle of those parentheses for that many second the execution will stop in that position and after that it will again continue to execution so hope you understand what is the work of so now whenever you do this so you have to erase that uh, message and you have to give it after this ga gaming loop or before this gaming loop but out of this while loop because if you can do our uh, in that under in that while loop you can write this then every time while loop is executed then the start will never goes uh, vanish so you have to disappear that so you have to cut it and you have to write it out of the block so so first what we need first we need that first start will be appear for one second then the game loop means game is started so we have to give first message um, function because we need first message so let's see what happened actually when we click on run so now you can see we are getting nothing but we are get this block so why what wrong here let's see so i think this function the time dot sleep is goes after updating because if we give it before updating so <laughs> before going to update it it sleep for one second and then update then nothing will be updated so we have to give one second after updating when update is successful we can see that and that will stay for one second and then the game will be started so hope you understand so we have to do silly mistakes and that will give us more understanding so we can get a start and then after one second we can get this so oh, we get another achievement so this is a lot for us so let's see one more time so sorry not debug this is this will be a silly mistake so now you can see start for one second and then it will be started so now you can see that if you want something scoring type message then it will uh, stay for the window for the uh, for that amount of time that amount of time you are playing those you are not quick so for that we can write it into under the while loop if we need for the long time but if we need only for some time for the main menu and then it will vanish when we start the play so start the game so for that we use out of the loop uh, out of the while loop and we have to write this function before go game loop because that will appear before starting game so hope you understand all about this messaging feature how can you do that so now what we can do more so what we can do more so let's think that now we don't need this uh, the, uh, we don't need this block this block hope you see this let's open it so now we don't need this block in hence this block we are need a car so how can you insert a picture of a car and how can you move that so same thing will be happen so now here we are typing this rectangular and doing this we have to do that we have to 
um, give a we take a car function so you can directly do that but we are taking a function for that because if we take uh, if we give all the uh, statement into function that will give us a good abstraction label interface so for that we have to take a function so car is nothing there have no type of function so we have to define it so let's create a car function so what does it do so let's define this def car and let's we don't know now what is the parameter let's first write what how can you bleed a picture in gaming window bleed means appear so you have to understand that so let's see so now first before you have to define this function you have to upload that picture into this programming into this project file how could you do that so i think i forget to zoom sorry for that this is silly silly mistake i do every time i forget to zoom every time so now before going to uh, define the function you have to upload that image into that project file how can you do that to so first how can you do that so first you have to copy that image and you have to paste that into the that file in which file this project also placed so let's see so here i can go in my pc and you can see uh, in a drive there is pycham project i can make this it's possible that in your computer this pycham project will be in another place you have to search that or you have to find that so now here my all the project that we're creating is here so now let's see my project file name what is my project file name so now my project file name is h e t t h and are you using the page of game developing so let's see so here my head folder and then here this my files so you have to paste your car image in this file so that is called a directory file for any project so this is our project directory file and in this file you have to you uh, paste your car so here our car so hope you can see so let's zoom out so this is our fancy car we can draw it i can draw it in microsoft paint so this is not so great car but i can use so the ba background will be blur so if you need i give it in my description so many of you are messaging me for the code and the, for the pictures so i already uh, upload it uh, so you can check in the description link link in the description so now here is the car the background will be blur so there is nothing background in it so i can paste it in this file so now after completing this you have to go into your pycharm id so now what we have to do so first you have to upload your image so our image is car image car img and in this variable you have to take a variable and in that variable you have to upload that image how could you upload an image so by just giving pygame.image.load so then you have to give the name of your file so here our file name is you can see in the directory car dot 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 something dot uh, img or jpg so here our format is jpg so this is our car name and then the jpg format you have to give it in a quotation because this is also a string type hope you remember from our past tutorial so if you does not know uh, python so don't worry i will already upload it link in the description check out that so now our upload is successful now we have to use it in car function so we create a car function so let's create it so use that car function so how can you bleed that so gd dot bleed so so to bleed anything in a window you have to use gd dot bleed and then what do you want to bleed so we have to bleed car image car image and then the xy coordinate so here our xy coordinate is so where we want to upload this car so we have to use x y because this x y will be the x y of the rectangular that we move so we need in that same position so use x y because the loop also created for the x y every time x y will increase so we have to use x y so then let's see what happen actually so you have to update that every time so don't forget if i forget you don't have to forget you have to remember that you have to update every time when you're doing some new thing in your display So now what you have to do now you have to call your car and the car take only two parameter it's nothing it's not taking anything just we have to uh, call the function and the function will be called 
so now what we want to do we have to do that we have to click on run so sorry i have to so what happened here in various destination position for blit so sorry here we doing a wrong thing so by mistake we have to understand we have to give in as a one parameter and for that we have to give it in one tuple so we giving it one tuple so hope you understand what is tuple if you does not know it's a data type already given in the by charm so here my car but only the uh, front side of my car will shown here appear and that will be very big i think so now how can you rescale that so if you already make a small picture for your car then it's be good very good but what if you don't have a small picture you have a great big picture and you have to convert that so for that you have to use your one more feature and that will be let's see that will be pygame dot transform so hope you understand this so this is the function to transform any pixel of any car any size you can call it as pixel as well so first the pygame dot because this will the feature of pygame dot transform dot scale so scale then what is the parameter so first the parameter which image you have to resize so we have to resize the car image and in which size you have to uh, uh, resize it so let's think that we have to resize it add 100 100 100 width and 100 height width mean x height mean uh, y hope you understand this is not the coordinate this is the size of that uh, x y so now we have to save this so let's save this in car img not underscore because we already have a variable in that name underscore name so we have to use only car image and now we have to use that car image to bleed because the previous image will be big size so you have to the new image and the new image name will be car image so you we have to use that now let's see what happened when you click on run so it will be first so but the argument to must be to not int so again we are doing a mistake a silly mistake we have to give it as one parameter not as two parameter sorry for that i am extremely sorry every time i do silly silly mistake that will not good so now what we can do so now you can see our little car and this is the whole car so let's see is it moving or not so it's not moving why why it's not moving so why it's not moving so let's think why it's not moving so what happened actually let's think so can we call a car okay so here x will be changed and if already x and y will be taken then the va same value will be every time shown here x and y but so for that we have to take as a parameter as a x y and we have to give it in there so now let's give x and y because every time will be x change in here not in the upper side so when it uh, change we have to give it the new change so if we are not giving anything then the previous value which is saved in that function that will be bleated so we have to use uh, we have to give that so we taking uh, those as a parameter and we give the new value x y now let's see what happened actually so i don't know the error will be going or not let's see so start after one second start so now you can see this is our car is moving so who we can achieve a big achievement so this is our big achievement i think because a car in a window and it's moving it's a lot for us so you can move it if you can press and release it will stop you can see so this is so now what we can do so if we want to make a game first you have to give make an intro like in previous uh, minute i can show you how can you make a window uh, then you can after uh, you have to uh, bleed to button so there have no such function for button for moving that type of thing so you have to create those by your mind by your logic if well condition so you have to use your mind for that because there have no prevailed uh, methods as that so now what we want to do so we can so now you can understand how can we upload an image then we have to bleed that in that car uh, car image by resizing that because that is a very big car and we have to need a small car and we can resize that by uh where the okay this this function transport dot scale and then the image name then in a tuple uh, the size resizing size 
and then we can bleed that and we can update also and we can uh, call the function in the after um, where the rectangular will be drawn in that same position we can call that so hope you understand how can you do that so what more we can do now so i think this is enough for you because in the next tutorial that will not a tutorial the next video will be a project and that will be a car race a fancy car race we have a game intro and in a ba background not black we not get the black background in hence we create many trees many houses many roads many blocks and uh, my our car will be running in that road and uh, there have many other cars which is also running and if we can crash those car then we can, the game will be over and if we can uh, take over that car then our score is increasing we have also a counter here a scoring counter and we can do such of many things so this is a very cool and such interesting project so if i need i can do uh, mm, a snake game but that is very boring i think because nowadays no one plays snake game this is very silly mm, boring so for that we are using car game we make a fancy car game a good car game with the gaming intro with the main menu with pause button continue button all the things but you have to remember that all those functions are not pre-built in pi game you have to create by your mind by your logic by your condition so and that is a good advantage to learn from the deep what is actually game developing how the binary code will drawn all of this how can you draw how can you make a game by binary language because all the things are one and zero and by one and zero you can create all those things so you have to understand that so uh, in java or c++ uh, those are better for game developing because those have many pre-built features like move and uh, like uh, button and like uh, car image and many drawn features but in pi game we don't have so, so many features like button there have no type of button feature there have no type of move uh, features in previous video you can see how can you create our own uh, move button by if fill condition not any using pre-build so if there have so in c++ and java there have also pre-build feature but all the pre-build features are also made by the owner of that module so there have nothing that uh, automatically give you something without doing coding so you have to code first what you have to do by this simple logic equals condition and loop because all the things are made with the programming without programming they can't create it so the owner will create that and we can use that and in here we can create that and we can use our function our own function so this is the uh, advantage for that because by doing creating function for those things that will be already available in other languages is giving us the depth meaning of what is game developing so hope you enjoy this series and thank you so much for giving us so many messages and if you enjoy this series give thumbs up do subscribe and please share so bye bye we are seeing in the next video